Do you want to know what to do in Tokyo? Or do you want to know what to do in Tokyo? There are so many things to see and do in this city that it's hard to say. But it's also one of the things to do in the capital city of Japan. If you want to see the old and traditional parts of Japan, or if you want to see how fashionable and sophisticated the city life is, you can do both in Tokyo. Before we begin our counting of top 15 things to do in Tokyo, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. 1. Tokyo Tower Anyone in Japan will tell you that the Tokyo Tower is a symbol of the city. In 1958, it was built as a tower for sending and receiving electronic messages. The view from the observation deck is great, but what's even better is seeing Tokyo Tower rise above the city at night. From the observation decks at Rapunji Hills, the Ginza Six Store Roof, and the Hamanatsuka World Trade Center, you can get a great view of it and the city lights. The Tokyo Sky Tree, another famous broadcasting tower, was built in 2012. Be careful not to mix them up though, because they are in different parts of the city. 2. Asakusa Asakusa is a place in the city's older part. The Sensoji Temple, which is right next to the train station, is one of the most popular places to visit in Asakusa. The street that leads to this temple starts at the bright red gate with a Japanese lantern hanging in the middle of it. In Asakusa and along this street, there are a lot of tourists. The shops along the street sell all kinds of souvenirs and Japanese sweets, so it's a great place to start your trip. 3. Hamarikyu Garden This is a Japanese garden in the traditional style. It is near the Sumida River. Shiodome Station is a short walk away, but a riverboat is another great way to see the city and visit this garden at the same time. The river cruise goes up and down the Sumida River, so you can get on the boat in Asakusa and Ride it down to the garden instead of taking the train. In the spring, you can take a river cruise and see the beautiful cherry blossoms here and along the river. 4. Shibuya Crossing We think this Shibuya Crossing is well known because it has been shown in a few video games or on TV. Tourists don't seem to understand how Japanese people can cross this crossing without bumping into anyone where there are so many people crossing at the same time. You can't get this kind of experience anywhere else in the world. From Shibuya Station, you can also look down on this event. When it's raining and everyone has an umbrella, it looks to me like a carpet of colorful umbrellas appears out of nowhere when the pedestrian light turns green. 5. Harajuku Harajuku is where the kawaii culture got its start. Kawaii means cute in Japanese if you've never heard this word before. Takeshita Street in Harajuku is where hundreds of young people go shopping for kawaii things and show off their kawaii style on the weekends. There are even cute, colorful things to eat that are kawaii. People who have never been there before are often shocked by how crowded it is. It looks like a crowded rush hour train on the ground. But because this trendy area is so popular, many shops that want to get a foothold in the Tokyo markets open their first stores here. 6. Akihabara. This is the place for you if you like Japanese comics or cartoons. You can buy all kinds of things in stores that have to do with Japanese comics or games. This is also where the maid cave got its start. In a maid cafe, waitresses dress up as maids to greet their masters or mistresses. It's also a good place to get all the electronics you need. There are a lot of stores that sell electronics, and many tourists come here to buy a lot of souvenirs. 7. Meiji Jingu The Meiji Jingu Shrine is in the middle of the city, in the middle of a forest. This green sanctuary is right next to Harajuku Station, but once you're inside, it's so quiet and peaceful you wouldn't believe it. This shrine may be the most well-known in all of Tokyo. On the first day of the new year, a huge number of people come to pay their respects. Even in the middle of the night on New Year's Day, the line to pray at the shrine is hours long. It's better to go at another time of the year. 8. Roppongi Hills or Tokyo Midtown Roppongi Hills and Tokyo Midtown are shopping malls in the nicest part of town. Even so, both tourists and people who live in the area like to spend a day there. At Roppongi Hills, you can enjoy the restaurants and the observation deck. They are only about 10 minutes away from each other on foot, so you can see both in a short amount of time. One thing you should know is that there are two Tokyo Midtowns. 
One is in Roppongi and the other is in Hibiya. Both of them are nice places to shop. 9. Wino Park The old part of Tokyo is where Wino Park is. There are several museums and the Uino Zoo in the park, so if you want to spend a day enjoying Tokyo's art and culture, or if you have a small child who likes animals like pandas, this is the place to go. People also go to Wino Park to see the cherry blossoms for what it is known for. In the spring, lots of people in the area will have picnics under the cherry blossom trees. Buy a snack at the station and join them. That is, if there is a place for you. 10. Tokyo Sky Tree this is Tokyo's newest tower for TV and radio. It was finished in 2012 and is 634 meters tall. There are two levels of observation decks, and they are so high that when you look down, it will feel like you're looking at a miniature diorama. From the observatory, the view is beautiful. If the sky is clear, you can even see Mount Fuji far away. On the other hand, the observation deck can't be seen when it's raining because of how high the tower is. 11. Shinjuku Jun Park Shinjuku Jun Park is in Shinjuku. It is a short walk from Shinjuku Sankom Subway Station or a 10-minute walk from JR Shinjuku Station. This park is big and is right in the middle of the city. The imperial family used to own it, but now it is a very popular public park. There is an old Japanese garden, an English garden, and a greenhouse with flowers from the subtropics. During the cherry blossom season, this park is packed with people. 12. Odaiba Odaiba is an area on the bay that has a lot of shopping malls. At night, this area has a beautiful view of the rainbow bridge and the city lights. You can also see a huge robot outside the Diver City shopping mall. Venus Fort is another shopping center with a Ferris wheel and an outlet mall. There is also an indoor theme park called Joypolis and a movie theater in another shopping mall. This is a great place to spend a day when it is raining or cold. 13. Imperial Palace In the middle of Tokyo is where the Imperial Palace is. From Tokyo Station, you can walk to the Imperial Palace Plaza and see the famous Nijibashi Bridge. People often think that you can actually see a palace at this spot, which is not true. But you won't find an old Japanese palace here and the building where the imperial family lives is off-limits to the public. But from an architectural and historical point of view, the stone moat and bridge are very interesting. 14. Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea. If you and your family just want to have fun, go to Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. You probably shouldn't try to see both parks in one day, so why not stay in the area and see one each day? Evening tickets let you get in after 6 p.m. on weekdays and 3 p.m. on weekends, so going sightseeing during the day and going to the theme parks in the evening is another great way to save time. 15. Tsukiji Fish Market The biggest market in Tokyo is the Tsukiji Fish Market. It is famous for the early morning auctions of tuna fish and for the fresh sushi you can eat for breakfast if you get up early. The market has an inner market and an outer market. The inner market moved to Toyosu in October 2018. Now, it's called the new Toyosu Market. Now, people can come after 10 a.m., but the public can't go to the tuna fish auctions until January 2019. The outer market at Tsukiji is still there and is still a popular place to go. So these are the top 15 things to do in Tokyo. If you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more top 10 videos. Press the bell icon for latest updates. Thanks for watching.